Look at this neat top. It has a really easy V neck band because it's just a seam in the center and the center front is ruched. This style is for neat fabrics. You're going to see how to put this super easy neckline together and all the center casing for this really cute detail that is a ruching. I think it's a really nice detail to have on the front of a neat top that's super comfy to wear. Stay tuned. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from liftingpinsandneedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing. And in today's episode, we are going to see some neat sewing. The pattern I've got to share with you today is super cute. There is one special detail down the center front of this design that had me really excited because I'd never sewn a style like that and I really wanted to. This is the Bali top from Green style creation. I have been a pattern tester so that process was really fun. I always enjoy that. And this is for neat fabric, super comfy to wear. It is a fitted design as you can see in the line out there. What stands out the most is that v-neck line and the center front ruching. The total length of that top will vary. It depends on what you want and on the pattern pieces you'll see different cut lines for a style that is super cropped that will end up a little below the bust. Another one that is shorter, like a crop top, you'll show part of your belly. And then there's one that's full length. I was really happy to see the full length option there because the other previous short versions don't really go with me and my style or personality or needs, basically. So a nice traditional long length there is nice to see. The neckline is a V, but it doesn't have that typical traditional V neckband that you have to have a point there and fiddle with. The V is made by just doing a center front seam, so it's a really easy V neckband to sew. And on that center front seam, you have ruching and you can do it two ways. One of them is just sewing that center front seam with a smaller seam allowance, 3 eighths of an inch, and you'll see a cut line for that on your pattern piece. And all you do is sew your front seam that finishes that V neckband, and then on the back, you have a shorter piece of quarter inch wide elastic that you stretch as you sew into the center front area and that will just make that center front area reduce its length and you'll get that ruching that way. The other option is to use a larger seam allowance in the center front and form two casings and then you make your own ties with the same fabric, thread it through and pull those ties as much as you want and that creates a ruching down the center front. The second option with the larger seam allowance and the casings and the ties, that is what I've chosen and that's how I've made two of my versions. Instead of threading the ties so that they tie up at the bottom like you see in the line art, I did it the opposite way so that they tie up here on the top. Same thing, just personal preference. And then of course we have sleeve options. You can sew a tank. There is a different cut line on the pattern if you want a narrower type of tank. And if you want sleeves, there's a bunch of sleeve options there. So this could work for whatever weather you need it for. Short sleeves, cap sleeves, long sleeves, and the cute pedal sleeves. I really wanted to do those. So that is in essence the Bali top. Because the Bali top is a brand new pattern from Green Style, it has a discount and it's a pretty nice discount, 30% off. I will leave all the information in the description box. It'll last around a week. I'll leave the date down there also for when the sale finishes. If you like a style like this, it's nice to get it for a little bit less. Although 30% isn't a little bit less, it's a lot less. When you purchase through my link, part of that sale comes back to me as commission, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. It is an easy way for you to support my work if you are planning to buy the pattern. I already mentioned it was for neat fabrics. It does have negative V's, it is a fitted design. So your fabric does need to stretch at least 50% horizontally and vertically. So you do need a nice amount of stretch. You can't really make this with fabric that won't stretch vertically. If you do use that, it might end up shorter than it has to and you'll be really uncomfortable here in the armhole. So just make sure your fabric stretches in every direction <laughs> and you can use a lot of types of fabrics, rayon or bamboo or modal blended with spandex. That is a fabric that is going to work. You know, I always group them together because these types of fabrics have the same sort of weight and hand, cotton lycra, athletic knits and then you have double brush poly single brush poly those are the types of fabrics i've chosen for both of mine i'm also in the cooler weather right now and so these warmer types of fabrics are just perfect for me in this time of the year also this type of fabric is super easy to work with if you are newer to sewing knits or newer to sewing in general i think it's a fabric that is really easy to manipulate ity might be a little lightweight maybe i just think it's a little too lightweight because the design is really fitted yeah i prefer to leave ITY for designs that have a bit more ease. If you decide you want to do the ruching in the center front with elastic then you just need a small piece of quarter inch wide 
elastic. Six to eight inches should be fine. The sizing that Green Style has currently is in letters and it goes from size B to size M. Size M goes up to a 62 inch hip. This is a fitted design, there is negative ease. When you look at the pattern pieces, actually they do look quite small. But remember we're working with fabric that stretches 50%, so you are going to fit in there. The design is fitted, this is not loose, it's not gonna be a floppy style. And actually the center front ruching would not look good on a style that was loose in my opinion. I think it does need to be a fitted design for the ruching to look nice. So just trust the measurements, look at the measurements chart and just choose what your body measurements are there on the chart. In my case, I have an H high bust and full bust, they fall within the same range. And then my hips fall within the next size range, which is size I. I looked at the measurements here, did some flat pattern measurements, also some eyeballing, and I decided to add one inch of length right above where the height of the bust is. And on neat styles, you can see on the side seam where the area is just a little wider and where it starts coming in down to the waist. That is the area I wanted it to be lower, the pattern, because my bust height is lower than that. So I wanted the fullness of the side seam to be a little lower than the original pattern. So just above there, I added an inch and that brought that widest part on the side seam down by an inch. I decided I needed another inch of length and I decided to go lower below where the waist height is and around the mid hip area I drew my own line there and added an inch there. That's how my top is two inches longer just distributed in two areas. Now there are no cup sizes in this pattern so I think you do need to take that into account if you have a larger cup size, a larger chest. You know that your bust projection is going to take some of that vertical length down the front and if you don't want your top to be too short in the center front I think adding a little extra length is not a bad idea and that's what I did and I'm very happy I added that extra length to my pattern because it fits perfect. Had I not added it I think I would have been uncomfortable and the top would have been a little bit too short. But also consider that I am a little bit taller so yeah, uh, fitting needs is a little bit of trial and error. For the sewing, I'm going to focus on general construction, mainly the neckline and the center front area, how to get those casings looking neat. And I did change the order of events a little bit compared to what I saw in the instructions, just because I wanted to have really easy access to that center front seam, but it's no big deal. You end up with the same garment. It looks exactly the same. You also see how to put together the pedal sleeves, which I find really, really cute, really easy to do also. So, so let's see. These are my pattern pieces for the Bali top. This is my front. You can see the V shape of the neckline. I have a higher option, there is a lower one. This is the back, that one's cut on the fold. Regular armholes here. There is a narrower cut line if you wanna make it into a tank, but I'm gonna put sleeves on mine. This is one of the options for the sleeve. You can do a regular long sleeve, just the typical sleeve. There's also a cap sleeve, but these are pedal sleeves. That's why you can see two pieces. One is for the front, one is for the back, and they're going to overlap, and then down here we have the neckband. The center front can be ruched with elastic or you can make a casing and put ties. I'm gonna use the tie option, but I haven't cut out the ties. It'll just be a really long strip. And here we have the two pieces for the sleeves. This is the front and this is the back. The way you're going to tell is by the notches. So on this side, you have double notches and then one notch in the center. So that helps you know that this is for the back. The front one has a single notch there and a single notch there. So you have two pairs of each because we have two sleeves. Here we have a pair. I have both of them with the wrong side of the fabrics up. Basically, the top notches here are gonna match right here and that's how the pedal shape is going to be made so first before we base this down the first step is to hem them so from this point down to there we need to do the hem and same as for the layer that's underneath here i have the pieces for one of the sleeves and i've just folded it up by about half an inch i wouldn't want to do more because it's got a slight curve right there hand basted it and now i'm just going to twin needle these hem all the pieces i have two more here so it'll be basically four little hems Okay, after hemming them, I can overlap them. I don't really mind what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do the same for both. And basically I'm gonna have the back sleeve 
and then put the front sleeve on top those notches there are going to match the back armhole there's a single notch there that's going to match the front armhole and i've got a pin there in the center and those are the pins that need to match here i'm putting the front over the back so i'm just going to pin them around there and on this area that overlaps i'm just going to give it a quick base there just to keep them together close to the edge using a long stitch length I have extended my back piece right there and first step is usually to sew shoulder seams so I'm just going to take my two front pieces and align them there. This is single brush poly so on this side it's really smooth. This is the fuzzy side so fabric tends to sort of want to stick to each other. It is easier to work with an ITY for sure so I'll just get these shoulder seams sewn. This is the neckband piece. All I've done is fold it wrong sides together and divide it in four. This is the center back and then this is another quarter and then the other reference is this edge here. It does have this shape because it is a V neckline on the front but it's separated. There's no seam there. Here I have my neckline all extended here. The shoulder seams have been sewn. So I've also divided the neckline in four. That's the center back. That is a pin there and then that is the edge there. So I'm just going to match these up right sides together. The band of course is a little shorter and you just stretch it to match. You can see this shape, this is going to match perfectly right there. That's why we have the shape there and you can see how much I need to stretch to match. I'll just do this all on the serger. Here I'm serging the band onto the neckline right sides together and I'm stretching slightly every quarter because the band is slightly shorter than the neckline. This fabric is fairly easy to work with. The four pins are enough. The raw edges stay together. There's no fabric sliding. So it's actually a delight to work with. I'm sewing right on the edge and not trimming anything because I'm going to go and sew. Sew this with the sewing machine at 3 8 of an inch. Once I've done that, I like having that seam allowance in neckbands rather than just using the serger. That's just personal preference. If you did want to just use the serger, then you would have to trim a little bit away to respect the 3 8 seam allowance. I'm going to do my actual seam and I'm just going to use a shallow zigzag for this. You can see the funny shape of the end of the neckband but it makes sense because this is how it's going to look and it's all straight there that's why it was true that way here's one side finished here's the other side now i still haven't done side seams or sleeves i think maybe finishing the center front at this point could be easier this is how the v would be finished now there are two options here it just depends on how you're doing the ruching if you are using an elastic you would sew at 3 8 of an inch seam allowance here the center front on the pattern piece there is a fold line so you can fold a little bit away here if you're doing the 3 8 seam allowance if you want to do the casing with the ties which is what i'm doing then this seam is three quarters of an inch seam allowance here but before doing that i'm going to serge these edges just to keep them neat i know for sure jersey doesn't ray over time you know you could leave it raw i just can't deal with leaving things raw when i have a serger to keep everything neat so here i'm just serging these center fronts just to keep them neat before sewing this center front seam and making the casings you need to have the hem done but I want to have my front loose. I don't want to sew the side seams yet and do the whole hem. So there is a way around it. And basically all I've done on both sides here of the center front is just fold it up by an inch. That's the hem allowance. I've got about four inches basted there. I'm going to get my twin needle and just sew this partial part of the hem. I'll just leave that sewn. And then that will allow me to finish the center front and work on the casing while having all of this extended and not having the side seams sewn. At the end, I'll pick up, do the side seams and then complete all this hem. Okay, I finally matched up the center front and I really want this to match at the bottom at the hem there and also here on the top so again I'm just using a narrow zigzag stitch to sew these together three quarters of an inch because I'm doing the casing system Okay. 
Okay, this is how the front looks so far. This is why I wanted to do it before the side seam because the access is so much nicer. I've got the seam pressed open and while I was here at the ironing board, I just hand basted that along the edge. Just huge basting stitches basically. And now I'm gonna go and sew right on the edge and that will form a casing here and a casing there on both sides of the seam. And that's where the tie is gonna go. Here is a closer look at how this looks inside. That section of the V was really important that the seams matched. So the band is underneath this seam that we've just done right there. At the bottom, I had already hemmed this partially, only about four inches. So when I sew this down, the hem is done and I'll have an opening through here and that is where the tie is going to go through so that is the reasoning behind hemming this before doing the center front seam i'm sewing this down from the wrong side because i can see better and i'm actually using the inner surged edge as a guide and i'm just sewing right there all the way down i'm using a narrow zigzag stitch for this then i'll go and do the other side Now at this stage you can sew your sleeve in on the flat, just match the notches so that would be easy and then you can sew your side seam continuously but I prefer to sew my side seam separately, I'll do that, I'll finish the hem and then the last thing I'll do is sew my sleeve in on the round. I had set these aside, it's already been hemmed, the overlap is right there so all I need to do now is sew these little seams and then I can sew my sleeve in on the round, that's how I prefer doing it. This is the first poly top that I made. It's a really nice and fuzzy single brush poly. On the outside is brushed, has that soft feel inside, it's just smooth. Super easy to work with, really lovely print. This was a tiny amount that I had left from another project. I chose the longest length available for the pattern because you can make it super cropped, short or a full length version which was still a little bit short for me I found so mine is two inches longer than the original. Super easy to sew V neckband because it's a center seam so you don't actually have to deal with the V point there. You just sew a seam right through it so that was super easy you saw how to do that. And I have a pedal sleeve option here. It's two pieces, they overlap and they have a little bit of a curve there. Looks better with, with my arm underneath of course. So cute and I can't even remember the last time I did a pedal sleeve. Like I can't even remember. So I thought it's there in the pattern, why not? Plus it takes up such little amounts of fabric, this type of sleeve, because it's two pieces, you can place them anywhere where they'll fit. So, so nice and super fun to sew also. As you saw, I chose the option of having two seams on either side of that center front seam to form the casings. I threaded my tie through the top, went all the way down, came up the bottom and then came up through the top so that I could tie them here. Originally in the design you would do the opposite so you can tie them down here. I just wanted them up here. I thought I could have better control of how much I want to pull them because however much you pull them is how much ruching you're gonna have. So here you can see that it goes up in the center quite dramatically when it's on the hanger. You can see the ruching a lot but then when it's on the body, the when it's on the body it is a little shorter at the center front but it doesn't look so dramatic as this one. The back is just a simple back cut on the fold. You saw that I've changed the order of construction a little bit to make sewing the center front easier. I'll show you what this looks like inside. That's how it looks like inside. You can see the ties coming up through the casing on the top. Each of the sides is neat. It's been surged. The hem is folded up right there. I've done small hems for my tulip sleeves. You can really see how it overlaps there on the wrong side. I've paired it over a black skirt. Just very simple styling. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. This is my first Bali top from Green Style. It is designed for knit fabrics and it is a fitted design. As you can see, the shape of the neckline is a V and there are different height options. I have the higher V neckline option because I want more coverage. Finished with the neckband and it's super easy because there's a center front seam there. Also sleeve options, I've got a really cute pedal sleeve there on mine. Up closer you can see the detail at the center front. There is a center front seam, there is a casing where I have a tie. That is what makes the ruching happen there and I think it's really really cute. Mine is a little bit longer than the original. I think it fits really well. As you can see it is fitted, it's not a loose type of design. I think it looks really nice with this type of skirt. I have my ties coming up from the top of the 
casing but you can thread them through the other way and have them come out the bottom I think the petal sleeves are really really cute and you'll see them up closer they are two pieces and they overlap over each other you can see there it's really cute there are normal short sleeves and long sleeve options there you can see my tie if I pull the tie a little tighter the ruching would be more accentuated but I think that's fine I really love it I love the ruching in the center front I think it looks really pretty I was really happy after I made this one so I knew many more were coming It is a fitted design so for my second one I wanted to have one that had a longer sleeve either three quarters or long length just whatever was going to fit in my fabric so I made the exact same thing it's just that this one has a regular sleeve that ended up being up to here sort of three quarters I couldn't fit any more into my fabric as usual I have tiny amounts of fabric for some reason and this type of print is really nice I had to work a little harder with this one to match all of these types of features there along the front I really wanted the center front to match and also the side seams to match you can see the print matching here was done really carefully I didn't worry about the shoulders you know I had limited amounts of fabric so I was prioritizing the center and the sides to match not the shoulders the sleeves I didn't want to match those either but they look okay <laughs> I have a regular hem here I did sew them on on the round as I usually do with neat projects anyway and here I have my ties coming out of the top as well and you see that it dips in at the center front and when I wear it you can see that but it's not so apparent you know so second time around was super fast to make I wasn't filming I already knew that the first one fit I already had all the steps in my head that I was gonna sew so it was pretty pretty relaxing pretty mindless actually when you can just disconnect a little bit and just let your muscle memory do the work <laughs> that sometimes happens to me on the second time I think with this one you can also see the details inside a little better you can see the surged edges and the wide casing you know you can always do a smaller seam allowance there and sew an elastic right through the front that is another way to ruche but I can't tolerate elastic touching my skin in any way shape or form so I always knew the casing option with the ties was going to be the way I was going to do it it just suits my skin better and I actually think this technique is a little cleaner than just having an elastic there right there in, in inside you know not covered with anything you know my sleeves my hem very simple inside super nice and the easiest v-neck band you could ever make because it's just a long band that you sew basically and then you just sew it in the middle super nice and I think this is going to be a great piece to wear on the jackets now that the weather is getting a little cooler here really love it I've paired it with a grey denim skirt let's see this is my second Bali top it's also a single brush poly with a really nice print I have the ties in the front also the only difference with this one is that I have a long sleeve I really love that ruching in the center front I don't think it's too dramatic and I think it's quite subtle this is the easiest V neck band you could ever sew it's just a seam down the middle I like the depth of this V it's not too deep it's not showing anything I have the ties coming out of the top the same as with the other one and this is going to be great for wearing under jackets now that the weather is getting a little cooler the shoulder and sleeve fit is really good for me I'm really happy with that another look at my ties and I'm just really happy I'm really happy with my tops. I'd always wanted to try this ruching business. 
you know technically it's not hard to do I just hadn't sewn a style that had that and I think it's really cute there, there are other patterns that have ruching on the side seams sometimes which I think are really nice and I would like to try also and I have a plan so I think with this one that already has the short sleeves I want to in the future probably in July make myself a swim top make one of these in swim fabric I want to create a lining layer that will go inside that will line the front basically maybe I'll line the back also because I want it to be a swim top and I want to add bra cups in there foam cups I have been looking around and I found a place that has bra cups that are going to fit my bust volume which is it's hard to find when you have a larger chest you know sometimes you find cups that are just tiny if I tried to use those, you know, probably half of my bust is going to fit there. And I want to create a method that's going to be so, so neat and nice inside. So I need to figure that out. When I do, of course, I'll share it here on the channel. But that is a future project I'm really excited about. You know, this I think would be amazing as a swim top, like a rush guide with sleeves and everything. And I think the ruching would make it look really pretty and not so basic. So future plan, you will see this pattern again. I really like the style and I really enjoyed sewing it. Remember the Bali top is 30% off during its release week. All the information is down below in the description box if you'd like to support my work using my affiliate link. I'm always super grateful. I'm going to see you again very soon with another neat style that is so, so beginner friendly. I'm excited to share. So make sure you subscribe, turn on all your notifications so you don't miss out when I upload all these helpful videos for you. See you soon. Bye.